In this video, we're going to go over programming a garden hose end irrigation timer. We're going to be featuring the Galcon 11000 BT, which is a Bluetooth hose end irrigation controller. But pretty much all of these, you know, hose end um, or boy, they call it, may call it a, a faucet timer or whatever. They're all battery controlled and they all have all of the programming functions that we need. If you would look at a permanent irrigation controller, you know, one installed in a professional irrigation system, it would have all the programming features that you would find on this one. You know, on a big system, we'd be talking about multiple zones and on this, you know, drip system and with this hose end irrigation timer, it's just one zone. So that's all we're going to worry about. But when we look at the programming, it's going to have all the features. It's going to know the current time and day what time you want the watering to start, how long you want this zone to run for, and what days of the week or what interval of days that you want to run it on. And it may have some other things, maybe even some more sophisticated, may have some rain sensor hookups and this and that, but almost all of the ones I've ever used are pretty much just like this Galcon one. They run on nine volt batteries for the most part, um, sometimes they'll have two of them in there and they just have seals, they have hose threads. So we're going to go through here and basically the video is just, you know, you're looking over my shoulder as I program this and talk about it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and talk about the timer before we go outside and install it, just to ensure that I can get a good even shot of the of the display and talk to you about that and make sure you understand what we're doing here. But this is the um, the Galcon 11000 BT Bluetooth hose end battery operated irrigation controller. Okay, it's a, a one station, meaning we're going to only run one zone of irrigation with it, one zone of drip. And what we have here, uh, just looking at the timer itself, is the inlet is a female hose thread. It's got a little filter in there. You want to always make sure that the filter and the gasket is there. You know, these hose threads, they seal not necessarily by the threads, but by a gasket that the end seats up with. So you always want to make sure that there's a gasket there. But we see here on the side, the direction of flow going from left to right. Now, if we open this up here, let's see, let's pull this open. It has a a nine volt battery compartment here. Okay. Um, just one nine volt battery. You probably need to change these once a year, even though the battery can last longer than that. It's just good to change them before the, the settings go dead on it. So let's talk about the buttons and the, the features, uh, the display and so forth. Okay. Here we have time, duration, days and starts and then across the top up here we have the days of the week. Now the time is the current time and you know if you've watched any of my timer programming videos you know I always talk about the four steps of timer programming. Number one is always to get the correct time, the, the current time correct uh, because if if the timer doesn't know what time it is right now, then nothing that you're telling it to do is going to happen when you think it's going to happen, right? The, the timer is only as smart as you are, so we have to make sure that we get the correct current time. The duration is how long the irrigation is going to run for. The days, you know, obviously is going to be the days we want it to run. And then the starts refers to our start times. So we have four different start times here if we wanted to run it like early in the morning, you know, at say 6 a.m. and then run it at 11 a.m. and then 3 p.m. and then 6 or 7 p.m. or something like that. We have up to four start times. I'm just going to set it up for one start time right now. It's not terribly hot yet. The plants have just gone in. We're going to water them every day for one hour. Okay, we talked about this a little earlier about, you know, how much water we want to put down. Drip irrigation is very low volume, slow dripping. So we're going to do an hour to get one gallon on each plant each time we water. Okay, um, so let's turn this thing on here and let's start going through it. Okay, so we've pulled up the time. I hope you can see this really well. It's uh, These displays are kind of hard to pull up, but let's talk about the buttons real quick. Up here we have a minus and a plus, and that's how we're going to change the values up or down. 
we have a right arrow key right here, and that's the parameter selection used to select you know, the value or the parameter that we want to change. Like you'll see that in a minute as you know, we go from hours to minutes that we're going to use this to change um, the value. And the, the value that's flashing is the one that can be changed. So we have to change the to a flashing value before we can change it. Okay. Um, and then we have a button over here called the programming step. And that's how we get to from time to duration to days to starts is we're going to use that button. Okay. And that's going to move us from one to one here so that we can change each thing about our programming situation. And this is a manual button. If we, you know, set this thing up and we have a duration in here. I think it comes with five minute duration uh, with it just from the factory. So, uh, but once we program in our hour, and we just say we come out, you know, one afternoon, it's everything's looking really wilty. It's incredibly hot and dry. We don't want to change the, 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 the program that it's on, the system that we've got it running on, but we want it to run right now. We just come over here and hit that manual button and the system comes on. You can walk away from it. It's going to run. Like I said, it's got five minutes in the timer from the factory. So it would run out this five minutes and then reset itself for its next regularly scheduled time. Okay, so let's go through this real quick. So we're on the time. So let's get it. Okay, our 12 is flashing. So 12 a.m. And it is 5.15 p.m. now. So let's change that to our 5 p.m. All right, we're going to hit this and get it over to the minutes. So let's take this down to 15. Okay. Next is there's a little flashing drop on the day and we want to tell it what day it is. Okay. So let's move over here. It is currently Monday. So we're going to put the, the flashing drop of water underneath M for Monday. Okay. Now let's go on to duration. Okay. We've Okay, so our little icon is here on duration, so we're going to use our plus to take our time up. The first 15 minutes, let's see, we've got to get it flashing first, don't we? Okay. Okay, so the first 15 minutes go up by individual minutes, and then beyond that it should start to... No, this one's a little bit different than the others I've seen. A lot of times these, once you get to 15 minutes, will click up from 15 to 30 to 45, but this one does individual minutes all the way up. I like that. Um, so let's change this to 100. So we've got one hour of duration on that. Okay, so now let's go to our days. And we're going to use a plus to put a drop underneath every day. So we want it to run every day, so you hit plus and it automatically advances to the next day. So we're just going to set drops up underneath every day. And that's how we're going to do it to begin with. Okay, so let's hit our programming step. And so now this is our first start. Okay, and so we want this thing to come on at um, 6 in the morning. Still dark. We want to get our irrigation done. Let the wet, uh, water drip down into the the soil and get down to the roots before the sun starts to come up and start to dry things out and evaporate it. I mean, you could do 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. just just depends on what time of year it is. So let's hit our our parameter selection till we get over here to our hour. Okay. Let's set this up for 6 a.m. And now, if you notice down here, there's one tick, two ticks, and then there'll be a, a three tick, and then a, a Roman numeral, Roman numeral, I know I'm setting that messed up, but there'll be a number four here, a Roman numeral four. All right, let, let's, let's advance on and I'll show you. See, there's a three. And then there's the four. Okay, so let's go back. Our, we've got our one start time. Two is off. Three is off. Four is off. And that's what we need. It's 517. It's going to run for an hour every day. And that's what we want it for. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is just go ahead and close this and we're going to go ahead and take it outside and start putting everything together. Okay, I've downloaded the Galcon BT app from the App Store. Let's open it up here and see what we've got here. Um, it has, it's pulled up our device here automatically and says unpaired. So let's see what happened. Enter pairing code. The irrigation pairing code will appear on the monitor. So it says 4675. So let's enter that in, 4675, done, okay, and all right, it tells us uh, that the next irrigation is going to be in the morning here, and we can even go to manual. Let's try a start on it, please enter duration. Okay, I uh, see there's a duration here, so we're going to, let's see here, let's see what we've got. I uh, see here. All right, we've put a time in and just confirm it, and now start. Boom, and we hear it go. It's running manually now. I mean, that really couldn't be any easier just to download the app, took a, a few seconds, a minute or so to do that. You saw us pair it there, it asks for a code. The code pops up on the screen, you put it in the app, boom, you're up and running. So really nice. So let's go ahead and stop our manual. And you know, we've got things that we can do here. It gives you the status uh, of your next irrigation, the program, you can go in here and set your days, your start times, uh, run time, and all that. So it's basically everything that you need in the app here.